Welcome. Oh, this is amazing. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, Queenie. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Sammy. Hi, love. How are you? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Greetings. Welcome. Welcome. Love. This is why I love the Thrive Club. It's the only, only place that people show up to meditation like it's the barbecue. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yo, <laughs> that's oh real. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like what Soul is saying, Pammy, we'll be getting uh -huh. super soon. Um, okay. Feel free to get in the water or tea, um, candle. We give a few minutes so people can trickle in. Okay. So, yeah. Be comfortable okay. with space, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing very well. Uh, my name is Coach Soul, if you didn't know. <laughs> And uh, welcome to Meditation of the Heart this Friday morning. Today, <clears throat> what's on my heart to speak just briefly about is those moments when you don't know what to do. And you don't know what to do. The habit when we don't know what to do is to become more busy or to become more busy minded. So some people find something to put their hands on, other people find something to put their mind on. Rarely does someone who doesn't know what to do, do nothing. And this is because, at least from an evolutionary standpoint, early human being, one of the first things that they discovered was when you are doing something to, to uh, better yourself and your community, you are being a, a, a good member of the tribe, of, the, of, the, of that community. When you are doing nothing, you may find yourself susceptible to animals that are out there or scrutiny from your community. And so there's a deep-seated anxiousness and um, just an inner pushing away of actually doing nothing. That, again, from an evolutionary standpoint, has to do with survival. But times are different now. We are no longer hunter-gatherer culture. We are in, essentially, a, a space where we have the technology and manpower, so to speak to be at peace. Yes, good morning, Ami. Glad you're here. But we're in, a, we're, we're, we're in a time where we can be at peace. 
the animals know who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But they, you know, it's it's um because some of them don't, you know, cat owners will tell you no, they don't. But um <clears throat> All in all, if you're if you're not in a city, then you probably are still in a community that has reached a certain equilibrium where there's there's no cause for this constant scan for danger. And that's really all that the mind does when it starts to get anxious around either a lack of productivity, right? I myself as a business owner know that feeling very much. Just just get the feeling I'm not doing enough. I gotta reach out, do some stuff. Or my business is gonna come crashing down. It's what they say, it's what the tycoons say. Um, you gotta look at this stock market, whatever. I don't know. You know? And um, it's a it's a scanning it's a scanning for danger, you know, danger, 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 danger. I'm doing nothing, which is closely related to danger, danger, danger. I don't know what to do. So let me just do something. And obviously, <clears throat> there are benefits to doing nothing, such as the less you are doing, the more you are learning yourself effortlessly. Because what you are is not really the doer of your life. You are more so a witness to the doer, to the various doers that appear and disappear within your, your being. Because the doer that has the argument is not really the same person as the doer who bakes the cake and has the fun. There are many different personalities within each being. We are all participating in some sort of multiple personality. Not disorder, but you know multiple personality experience. For who you were at three o'clock yesterday, it's not the exact same as who you are today. Who you were at 15 years old is completely different from who you are today. But at 15, in July, <laughs> you thought that was really who you are. And so I want to bring some awareness this morning to the spaciousness that lies behind the doer, all of our doership. Where we're constantly doing, doing, doing. Good morning. And in bringing our awareness to the doing and be beginning to become more of a witness to a doing, we give ourselves reason to at least when it fits the moment, do absolutely nothing. Now, lastly, before I ask my question, 
what does it mean to just be or to do nothing and enjoy it? Well, in the beginning, some awareness is required, right? If you don't notice that there's no reason to constantly just keep doing, then you'll just keep doing. So some awareness is definitely required at first, <clears throat> at first. You must be able to see the difference between yourself and your mind. The mind is never going to stop doing. Even the mind of the sage does things. But the identity is not with the mind and the awakened being. He or she who has awakened beyond their conditioning is not identified with whatever the mind is doing. So to them, mind is doing nothing. To just be, one must accept what is as what it is. Accept whatever the moment brings without preference or bias. This acceptance is quite enough to give space and to give safety to the beingness. And so my question to you all this morning, and since we have so many people, praise the most high, since we have so many people today, um, try to keep it as, you know, relatively brief as you can, although your answer will not be, you know, stopped short by any means. My question is, when you don't know what to do, even if just for today, how will you make room to just be? When you don't know what to do, even if just for today, how will you make room to just be? And I just put it in the chat for you to see so that you remember. And I'm opening the floor for anyone, <clears throat> for everyone. I think that this is Lisa. I think that rather than seeing that as frustration or an obstacle, I will see it as an invitation to do nothing and to receive. You know, normally, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I got to figure out. So rather than going there, I will say, okay, I'm going to take it as a signal <laughs> to sit down for guidance. Mm. It won't be a source of frustration. It will be an indication. Thank you. If just for today. <laughs> right, 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 right. Just for today, I will see it as an invitation. Love it. Thank you. Uh, this is Ami. Uh, okay. All right. My answer would be to try and go inside myself, close my eyes, 
um, be steady and uh, kind of like Lisa was saying, whether it's guidance or instruction, whether it feels like if it's just my breath, that's the next right thing, just do that. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Good morning. Morning. What I'll do for today is to savor the pause between thoughts and with hopes of it lengthening. And I find that when I take just a moment before I start something like work or end the day with breathing and just creating that space for myself, it takes away those, the busyness and the, the, the need to keep doing and doing. Hmm. The space between thoughts. Thank you, Queenie. Um, I'm <laughs> tea time. I know. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, the way that I find space to be, I guess, um, I would change the way I think about you know, whatever circumstance or situation I'm in. And I'll find that peace, that balance. And then I'll, and then I'll automatically create that space to just be instead of do. Or think about what am I, what am I supposed to be doing? Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll go so even if just for today and my intention is to carry this energy through to every day and every moment but um, even if just for today how I create that space make that space to just be even when the market says, I don't know what to do, or whatever variation it comes with, you know. I, what's coming is um, simply to relax into that remembrance that life always takes care of life. And there is no right or wrong way. Uh, sometimes my mind may get caught up in the right way to do something. Um, or if what I plan to do is substantial. And so um, there's a lot of elements that everyone already said, like, the breath coming back to just breathing and becoming aware of this moment using the breath to come back to the present and I choose to simply relax into the moment that's that's my way of putting it relax into the moment um, and with that relaxation, there's the there's a spaciousness that that doesn't come, but it's felt and known. 
Uh, an unconditional love is felt and known. That it really doesn't matter and that I can take a moment. Remembering to relax into the moment. Wonderful, thank you. Also in the chat, we have from uh, Mo Mum, AKA Jacqueline Hunt. Breathe and be spontaneous. Accept each moment as an opportunity to learn the lesson that it sent. Thank you. Thank you. Spontaneous is being being spontaneous is not just a and, and as she's points out here, it's not always just about doing spontaneous actions. It's also about relaxing from the doer, being fresh, being afresh on the inside. So yes, to breathe and to just be spontaneous and accept the moment as an opportunity to learn its lesson. Wonderful. <clears throat> life takes care of life. Get better or more at peace with doing nothing or simply one thing at a time with ease. Yes, yes, a prerequisite for mastery over doing nothing is mastery of doing one thing at a time. All my multitaskers out there say, who? <laughs> yes, now, um, um, Ashanti, did you did you want to to give an answer this morning, or did you want to just listen? Um, either way is is fine. I was uh, writing in the chat, mm -hmm. oh. but um, I'll speak. Yes. So, when I don't know what to do, which that part right there. It just spoke volumes to me because that is kind of the space that you know I've been in like what to do I don't know what to do this is new or this is just too familiar the same things keep happening what to do what to do what to do so just for today I'm going to breathe and also breathing I'm going to remember who I am because I'm not, you know, all the low vibrational things that's happening and going on around me. I'm going to continue to, you know, be in a space and listen to uplifting, you know, love notes. Um, I'm just going to just relax. I'm going to take my moments of rest when needed. I'm going to listen to my body. And if I feel called to, you know, just write something down, just to like, get it out my mind, because my mind just does a lot of racing. Right. I'll do that. And I'll, you know, release it. So that's what I'll do. Wonderful. Wonderful couple different things, but they all qualify for doing nothing because it's not the same as like doing, doing, doing. So. Yes, yes, yes. In the chat, we have remember who I am. Mm. And my answer <clears throat> to the question, when I don't know what to do, even if just for today, how will I make room to simply do nothing? Let me turn my phone on silent. Uh, mm. 
my answer is to is is that in those moments i will acknowledge that silence is where the answers are found silence is where the truth can be understood not verbally inwardly understood and to lisa's point of remembering who i am i will confirm within myself that i am not simply the doer of my actions <laughs> <laughs> I am not <laughs> That's funny, excuse me. <clears throat> because you know, and I'm going to uh deviate for a moment. Um the word benediction always makes me makes me giggle or well it makes me giggle right now because sitting in church as a little boy and looking at the program that had the agenda for the day for each you know the service that we were at as soon as i get bored i'm like okay how many steps until this last one that says benediction <laughs> how long are we going to be here and so it was like a um um you know people um say take your time to to you know or whatever and 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 or it seems like we're getting there and then we sort of don't get there because the pastor has another point to make or whatever it used to it used to make me make me mad <laughs> as a child <clears throat> and so i used to say just say the benediction in my head a lot <laughs> which lisa wrote in the chat <laughs> <clears throat> I said, like I said, this is why I love the drive club. Okay. So, um, <sighs> I'll acknowledge that silence is where the answers are found and that I am not really the doer. In these moments, I will recognize that I am the witness and that God is the doer of my life. Ashe. <clears throat> you can relate on me, yeah, for sure. All right. Now I want to invite you to find a comfortable seat or uh, laying back position. I do ask that you try to keep your, your back in somewhat of a straight line as if a string is pulling straight through your crown. Um, it helps, uh, especially if you're sitting up, it helps with not falling asleep. And it also helps just with your bio log biology, <clears throat> biochemistry, bioelectric, you know, meditation can bring all sorts of experiences. And so when your back is in a straight line, it uh, brings some clarity to these experiences. As you find your comfort, I'll let you know that we're going to begin today's meditation of the heart with a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth on the count of three together. When we breathe in, we're gonna be breathing in peace. What it means is not the peace that you, you know, you may feel like you have to cultivate or bring from outside of you into your experience. But the peace we will be breathing in is more of the recognition of the peace that is already here, 
always here. As I say, simply hiding behind our actions and our thoughts. And as we breathe out through the mouth, we're gonna be breathing out the mind so that may, we may be present during this meditation. <clears throat> One, two, three, in with peace. And out. Welcome to this moment, everyone. I invite you to close your eyes and begin to settle yourself out of your head and into your body for just a moment. Expanding your awareness beyond the thinking mind. Feeling but not touching or logging into the various sensations of your body as well as your aura which is simply the space right above your skin. Just notice the truth of the moment. as you settle deeper and deeper into your body. There may be various sensations for you that concentrate around certain areas. There may be certain tensions. And I don't want to have you think that you must be completely relaxed in order to meditate. Simply notice what is without judgment. Only noticing for your awareness is quite enough. And in this more expanded more spacious awareness. Notice even that you are here and your body somehow is there. Meaning you who witness the body are beyond the body itself. Breathing is happening on its own. Just notice.
the relaxation. It's also happening on its own. Relaxing the body is the same thing as relaxing the mind. For when you become tense in your mind, the body tenses up. And when you become relaxed in your body, the mind finds space to relax. But you are witness to both body and mind. Don't think about this, simply notice. Expanding your awareness of self is not the same as bringing your attention here and there. For meditation is the act or the art of expanding your awareness without identifying with a self-image. Hold no self-image. Thoughts may be swimming about within your awareness. Sensations come and go, even feelings, which we often mistake to be ourselves, appear and disappear. But awareness does not come and go. Awareness is perfect, ever present, here before even the birth of time. Allowing your awareness to expand and remain spacious is not a difficult thing. For even if within this expanded awareness, there seems to be a conflict in the mind, you can simply watch. Just don't log in.
for you bear witness even to silence itself. You are the silence beyond the silence. The peace beyond peace. And the truth beyond truth. Even if sleepiness may arise, pay no attention to it. Don't identify with it. Simply observing. Noticing that thoughts appearing and disappearing does not truly indicate a thinker of thoughts. They arise and fall on their own. Even the feeling or sense of myself is witnessed in awareness. The I beyond I. There is nothing to become here. For awareness is changeless. Awareness is not meditating on itself. There are no discussions to be had in the head. No postures to assume. 
in the body. No attitudes to be held in the mood. Simply be here, right now. In a few moments, you will hear me signal for our final deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth together on the count of three. And when we end our meditation session, it is not an end of what is. It will not bring a change to the pure awareness that you are. For it is because what you are has no shape that you can become anything while also remaining no thing at all. Again, don't think about this. Simply observe. When you think, you take the shape of a thinker. Just as the heartbeat goes on and on, the mind will continue to go on and on without permission, without aid from you. Allow it to be as it is and allow space for you to be as you are. And may this bless your life in ways unimaginable to the mind itself. Ashe. On three, we'll go in with peace and out with the mind, in through the nose and out through the mouth. One, two, three, in with peace. And out. Again, welcome to this moment, everyone. May I see you guys before we go? I'd like to ask how this session was for you. Hi, Ashanti. Oh, what's your RBG? <laughs> Red, black, and green. <clears throat> hey, my mom. Um, yeah. How was... How was this morning's session? As it was coming through me, it felt very um, centered and grounded. Not so airy, but to me it felt grounded. Ah, 
yes. Um, well, actually, Coach Tensi, why don't you go ahead and speak about that? Please. Yes. So I just put the donation information in the chat. And after the meditation, my voice sounds extra gravels, but that's okay. Um, we've donated thanks to everyone here. Over a thousand plant based meals to kids so far in the US and around the world. Super proud of oh, everything. So thank you. Thank you. And we go keep it going. So bless. Yeah. Back to you, so for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we reached a thousand uh a thousand last, uh, two weeks a week and a half or something like that ago. A thousand plant based meals to children and families in need through uh through you guys and donations and things. So if you can, you know, please if you can make a donation any size it all helps and it goes to great causes and things you know so. <clears throat> other than that um, Lisa before she headed out she said it was amazing I really practiced observing and not associating with thoughts gotta run love you. and uh, I'll speak for her and say that love you was to everyone I lasted, I lasted on the train. So I was like, wow. And the times that it went out, I was just calm and breathing and relaxing. So it was lovely. It was wonderful, a wonderful way to start my, I was gonna say Wednesday, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> to start my Friday. Were you going to next work. week or you were going backwards in this week? <laughs> I was going backwards, <laughs> I was going backwards in this week. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm relaxed. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, everyone. For sure. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you made it through too. Sometimes, you know, that train Most or of the time just tunnel just... will take your signal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Glad. You too. Shanti, it was very <laughs> relaxing. Like you said, the meditation was very grounding for me. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I see your mommy duties have, 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 have gotten into full effect, so being quiet is probably the move. My mom says, the monkey mind was present. You. Oh, I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. One more time. I was saying that I just wanted to say thank you and that I will see you guys. Yes, peace. Love you. Enjoy your day. The show. The monkey mind was present, but did not stay. Very relaxing, great way to enter this beautiful day. Love to all. Yes. Victory. Yes. Victory. Monkey mind will know its place <laughs> no one else is here. Are you still gonna stay on mute? I'll let you hear my 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 morning voice. Yeah. I, I overslept today. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's up late with Keith. Mm -hmm. I think he worked all night. I don't know how he's going to keep his eyes open today. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah, that was very, very, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I see the those roses are still surviving. Yeah. Yep. So I took some notes. Oh. Uh -huh. hey. Handy handy notebook. Got my little notebook. Mm -hmm. 
That's great that you all donated so many meals. Congratulations on on that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.